The hunt for Newcastle's first Premier League win of the season continues. They could only draw 0-0 with Southampton. The last time they went this long without a win in a season was 120 years ago. Wow. I know, 120 years ago. Uh, but that point moves them off of the bottom of the table on goal difference, so there is a positive there. <laughs> um, Newcastle... <sighs> Mm. It's it's again. It's one of these these things. I don't think we fully know what is actually going on there. I mean, you've got an incredible manager yep. in Rafa Benitez, Amazing and man. also as well what he has done at Newcastle. I think with you know the tools that have been available to him does go to show how great he is. I've always thought. I think it would be interesting to see where he would be at now with a top six team, possibly. Well, well it's that's in, it's interesting because I actually completely agree there. But I think the question needs to be asked that. Should he be now under pressure to lose his job? Well, I've, I've, I've got an idea. Sorry to butt in. I'll, 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 we'll bring in a Newcastle fan who can who can pitch in as well. Mm. Rob mm. from the Rubenstein YouTube channel. Good afternoon, mate. Hello, mate. How's it going? Thanks yeah. for having me on. No, no, no. Not not a problem. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Um, well, Akeem, you were you were just saying, you know. Good, yeah, good yeah, Rob. I mean, obviously, the question I was gonna uh, I was asking is, of course, Newcastle's a big club. I know Rafa has not been backed the way he should, but. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't Rafa Benitez, if it wasn't a manager that's won so much and so so great as he was in the past, would he be sacked now? Oh, for for me, uh, Rafa, no way, no way. But I can see where you're coming from because at the end of the day, we're, we're not winning games, and I'm not going to lie, there are definitely people out there who are starting to question his position and asking questions like if we're still in the bottom three at Christmas what would happen next but like you guys have already said I think what he's done for the club with the resources he's got and everything like that um, for me there's there's no way we can get rid of like there's no way for me but I can see why the question is being asked anyway Where's the next win going to come from though? Because I mean if, if we look at the next games I'll just, I'll just rattle through them uh, Watford at home Bournemouth at home uh, Burnley away and then West Ham at home what, which games are you looking at there thinking this is where we're getting our win you know what we're, we need to pick up points ASAP and th that's that's the serious scenario at the moment I mean if we look back at the Brighton game last week I mean we had Plus 20 plus shots on goal we had all of the possession and there was just no threat going forward and I know for the game yesterday against Southampton we got a point and you can look at the positives we got a point we got a clean sheet but again there is just no threat going forward um, we brought Ron Darn on and he was the man we hoped was going to really put the goals away for us this season but he's been injured he, he hasn't been getting played and Watford and Bournemouth for both on a good run at the minute they're the next two home games they both won their games at the weekend um, and I'm sitting here saying this and I know I'm always far too positive when I go to the games hoping this is going to be the game when we get three points and I'm just going to go to those games and, and hope for the best again but you can't have 20 plus shots in all the possession against Brighton and not stick a goal in mm. and if that's going to be how we're playing with no genuine threat up front it really is just a hitting hope at the minute for actually bringing in our first win. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you a quick question. So you're talking about the strikers. Um, I kind of read a report, um, I don't know how accurate it was, but it was about oh, yeah. um, actually taking out that 12 million euros, which Benitez was hoping was going to be for, for some new players. Do you guys think that you guys need to buy a new striker in January? The, do you guys I mean, or do you need any reinforcements in January? Yes, we definitely need reinforcements in January. I mean, you you can't. We in the summer we made a profit. We did, we you've got the promoted teams coming up and spending the money. And I know we came tenth last year, which was a fantastic finish considering how tight it was down the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you can kind of look at it and go, it's it's this, it's the same squad. Shouldn't they be able to like recreate that again this year? But when we're coming out of the summer having spent eff effectively nothing, mm -hmm. and teams are coming up like um, Fulham and Wolves and spending all that money you, you're going to struggle because we were struggling last year although we did get a good 10th place finish but to spend nothing and hope to do it again when everyone else is spending um, 
we're going to struggle. So mm. I definitely think we're going to we need to spend in January. Whether we'll do it, <laughs> uh, I can't see it happening. To be honest, unfortunately, but I, I, we definitely need to. It feels a, it feels a bit like you know I, I'm not a Liverpool fan, but uh, a Newcastle fan, I should say. But it feels yeah. a little bit like Groundhog Day. You know, I, I hear <laughs> Newcastle fans talking about this so much. We need to sign players. Mike yeah. Ashley's not giving them money to sign players. Are you uh, and are you so fed up to the back teeth of th this conversation? Yes, 100%. It's just like hitting a dead horse or whatever the saying is because we are... I, I just, I just want to go to the game, have a pint and enjoy the match. <laughs> but instead, I'm standing around talking about the uh, Rafa, what's going on with the team confidence, Mike Ashley, why haven't we bought players? I just want to go and enjoy the football. Mm. And, I, and I can't do that and I haven't been able to do that for a number of years now and I think it's just becoming a real grind on everyone because mm. we, we are just genuinely sick of that conversation yeah. now. Well, just well, once some money gets spent and then for everyone to just get three points in for everyone to be happy to be honest well, well, listen, Rob, before, before we let you go to enjoy the rest of um, your, your Sunday yeah. what's the feeling around you at games because obviously you've come out on, on the show just when uh, we are, when Akeem asked the question earlier and said that you support Rafa and you, you think he should definitely stay is that the general yeah. feeling amongst Newcastle fans or is it is it starting to get a bit split I think I just think because we've gone on this run with no wins, questions are just getting asked everywhere. So people are questioning the team, the quality, just the confidence in general. And then with that, people are questioning Rafa because you kind of have to when you haven't won a game yet the question needs to be asked and then I would say the vast majority of people I would say are still back in Rafa and I think it would be crazy not to but the questions are being asked like I said for me I think questions need to be asked in that substitutions and all that kind of thing but I think at the end of the day if Rafa stays I've, I've got hope that we will get some points soon and we will get out of the bottom three but it's it's going to be another long tough season unfortunately mm. well listen Rob uh, we're going to let you, you get on with the rest of your day thank you thank you so much for coming on mate no thank you lads cheers, cheers very much mate. good luck Rob thank you, you. Good luck. Mm. Thank you. bye bye mm.